What's up guys? Thank you guys for joining me on another adventure. We're here at Hollywood Studios. Um, we booked the rodeo barbecue. Um, we've already done it uh, once already before. And not gonna lie, we had a really not great experience. Um, but we're giving it a second try. So honestly, I hope it tastes better than the first time because I'm from Texas, so I know what barbecue should really taste like. And yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm excited and I also love Toy Story, so that's why I'm kind of glad that we're giving it a second chance. But honestly, if it's, if it's not as great or if it's not better than the last experience that we had, then I don't think we're gonna be going again. So I'll let you guys know how it is. Um, I'll show you guys the food choices that they have there. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in a sec. We made it to Hollywood Studios and as you can see, there's like not that many people here. Um, but I was talking to Jan and, and, and yeah, it's because everyone's at Magic Kingdom because today's 4th of July. Um, and everyone's really kind of going there for like the fireworks so but we're kind of making it just like a free day so we'll see where it takes us guys i don't know if you guys follow the munchlings but they have the munchlings here right and i have this bag and these ears but these are the new munchlings here they're so cute he's so precious and look at minnie these are big like plushes. Guys, they have um, the new Chubby Munchling. And he's really cute. He just came out like, I think two days ago is when Disneyland got him. Disneyland, sorry, I don't know if I said that right. Um, but he's here at Hollywood Studios. Where he came to uh, Mickey's Runaway Railway um, because it's a 25 minute wait which is insane because usually this ride is like over 60 80 minutes so yeah we're gonna ride it honestly if hollywood studios was like this all the time this would be the park to come to we're always at epcot so we're kind of like used to the crowds and the heat but here um at least today um it's been it's been so calm and like great we might go to magic kingdom later but i'm a little nervous about that because since everyone's over there but we'll see <laughs> literally a five minute wait that's insane <laughs> All right, we made it to Roundup Rodeo. Hopefully, it's better this time. So this is the menu. Um, so you get the first three like little entrees. They already come, um, and then they have different types of like meats that you can um, that you can try. It all comes out at the same time. Like the ribs, the brisket, the chicken. It all comes out um, together. Um, and then they also have salmon. We're gonna request the salmon, see if they have it. Hopefully they do. Um, I love seafood. Well, we both love seafood. And then the sides, you can choose four sides, or I think you have to choose four sides. Um, honestly, I'm not really a cheese person or a salad person, so a lot of these, like, I'm not really a fan of, but I like corn, so we're, I'm gonna get that. And then Jana's gonna get some other things which I'll show you guys later um, and then you get to select a dessert which I love strawberry so I think I might get the strawberry pie I ordered um, like a little refresher it's like a lemonade it's it's called the party source Tex which I thought it was actually Rex because you know from the little skit but it's party source Tex and um, it's got like strawberry in it, but it's literally just like a regular strawberry lemonade um, with gummy bears or gummy worms. Um, very underwhelming. Well, Jan says it's very underwhelming. And I mean, it, it is. I'm trying not to be like as mean, but I mean, if I'm being honest, like, yeah, it's not, not anything special. 
All right, so they were able to um, accommodate us for the salmon. They had it. Um, I'm gonna try it right now. I'm not really sure. Did it really say what the flavor was? It just said, I think it just said cedar plank salmon or something like that. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys know how it is. So there's brisket and chicken there. And then there's tater tots. And then there's kind of like the variety um, plate that they have with like the food. All right guys, so we got the desserts. Um, you only get one dessert per person. Um, I got the Gruff's peach strawberry pie, which is plant-based. So, you know, if you're vegan, that's probably the choice to go to. And then he got the Billy's chocolate silk pie. Um, and we're gonna try it right now. Hopefully it's good. What's up guys? So we just got done from the barbecue place and, and the Toy Story Land. And honestly, it was the same experience more or less. The food was basically the same. Like there wasn't anything like great to add in terms of like our experience previous to this one um and there were a couple of other things too that happened that kind of like rubbed me the wrong way um and really the main one is that so obviously there's dining locations in disney and if you're an annual pass holder or a dvc member you get discounts um at certain uh locations this location, or sorry, this dining um, place that we had gone to last, last time, we came during the soft opening um, of the restaurant and they have, they had applied the discount. However, this time when we came, they didn't mention nothing about us not being able to use our discount for um, the bill, which was really annoying to be honest because obviously I feel like that's something that they should be telling us um, and we also had uh, a group next to us that were DVC members that also were like they overheard the cast member basically telling us like oh well we're not applying any discounts and they overheard and they asked the same thing like oh you guys aren't doing discounts and um, they obviously gave them, uh, them the same response that they gave us and yeah it's just kind of like frustrating because again like these are things that I feel are important Especially when, you know, luckily we live here and, you know, it's a, it's, it's great that we're able to, you know, come and go as we please. But for other people that are maybe DVC members or annual pass, hold, pass holders that don't live here, like they're not, like they don't have this information on hand. And if they're not knowing these things, like they're not able to like plan their vacation, maybe like, you know, as accordingly because they're taking into account like, oh, we're going to be able to use our discounts here and here. So it's just it's just a little bit you know annoying and, and frustrating and um and again overall like the the food was it was it was it was whatever like I, I it's not a place that i would recommend to come if you ever came to um to hollywood studios and you wanted to do something different and you saw this place like on um on the my disney experience app like it's just not a place that i would recommend so the other thing that i was going to mention too is that we've eaten at the hoop de do um review and it's it's really kind of the same price it's only about five dollar difference it's five dollars more um but the biggest difference is that with hoop de do you actually get entertainment with it you get like performances they are very interactive with the audience and i and I will honestly say that the food is a lot better with um, Hoop Dee Doo than it was for the um, rodeo barbecue one that we just did at Toy Story. It just, I just feel like it's worth more of your money. Um, and if you're obviously not trying to go outside of the park because that restaurant is outside of the park, it's on um, one of the resort properties. Um, what you can do is go to either sci-fi or you can go to 50s prime time prime time cafe which is is also like really good like they have fried chicken and just a lot of different country food um so it's just you have other options that i think will be better for you um and you get more value for the money that you're spending um because at the end of the day you obviously want to go to a place where you're going to get the value for the money that you're spending because it's obviously not just food that you're paying for it's tickets it's uh, merchandise it's all these things that you have to take into account so that would be my suggestion 
But on, an, on another note, <laughs> um, we came to Riviera um, just to kind of like check out merchandise because they have a new lounge fly and new ears. So I want to see what they look like in person at least. Um, also, the other thing that I was going to mention and, um, about the barbecue is that so at Animal Kingdom, there's a place called Flame Tree Barbecue. 100 times cheaper and I feel that the quality of the food is a lot better so just wanted to make that little side note for you well guys just like that we're back on the Skyliner because they didn't have the the new lounge fly which it's okay um, I never really like to set my mind on a, on a lounge fly until I've seen it in person um, just because I'm like kind of picky with the things that I buy or that like I um, that I have in my collection so but we're gonna head to Disney Springs now um, hopefully it's not too crowded because hopefully the crowds have gone to the parks for the fireworks um, but yeah we're just gonna go to Disney Springs and just check a couple of things there and then probably head home because um, it's it's so hot like I I know like all over the US like everyone's feeling it but it's really hot in Florida especially because the humidity so yeah all right guys we finally made it back home we ended up going to Disney Springs but because it started to rain we kind of had to hunker down um, at World of Disney so we kind of couldn't do as much as we wanted to at the Springs um, but like I said we're back home and we're just gonna kind of chill out for the rest of the night um, and kind of take it easy probably watch a movie or something so thank you guys again for joining me on another adventure i hope to see you guys again soon as always if you like the video please comment subscribe and like the video and as always i will see you guys on the next adventure bye guys